Hello there, and welcome to another Star Tool video. Today we're gonna we got a, a pretty specialish video. So in the Discord uh, over the last couple of days, uh, which plug the Discord if you want to join the Discord Starfield Anonymous. We've got a cool bunch of people. We top it all things Starfield, but in the the ship building section where people like to share like their various builds they're working on stuff um a few people were were basically trying to attempt to make soren's tug or soren's ship from the uh, halo tv show so for anyone that's not familiar uh, um I'm, big, I'm a big fan of the halo tv show and i was like oh i'll give it a go so the in the halo tv show one of the the main kind of characters is soren he's a, an ex-spartan you know spoiler it's not really spoiler because if you read the books but he basically operates this sort of a tug and it's this is going to get a bit technical, so if you're if you're a Halo fan, you might know some of the things I'm saying. If you're not, it's just going to be some nerd rambling. But it's it's a unique ship, but it, it seems to be based loosely on the Darter, which if you've played Halo Wars uh, 1 or 2, or you've played on some of the maps, you will have noticed. The Darters are basically these kind of like uh, transport vessels that are used to, to carry cargo from the planet's surface into orbit. And they make use of these four articulated VTOL thrusters. And Soren's ship is based loosely on that. Now, in game, it's, it's, or in the universe, it's refer, referred to as a tug, which I suppose it could definitely do that too. But yeah, anyway, I decided to give it a go. Now, forewarning, this, uh, I'll put up a picture uh, in a second just to show you what it kind of looks like uh, versus what I've done. This is heavily merged to the point where, from a, if you don't like merging on the interior, you will not like this ship. I personally am not a huge, I don't have a huge issue with uh, interior merging, um, as long as it's not like, you know, awful. Now, the way this ship flies, you have to fly it in third person. You can't basically see through the cockpit, um, which again, could be a bit of a letdown. But this is kind of more of an attempt of seeing like how close we can get something to something in the Starfield universe. Like obviously... Uh, in the in the the Discord, there was a couple of people who kind of made versions that were more practical and um, larger scale and stuff. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could kind of make it to as 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 accurate as possible. So yeah, so if we look at the stats of the vessel, it's got a fuel of two ten. I just went with my standard kind of fuel complement. It's got a hull of twelve forty six and a carry capacity of two uh, two thousand three hundred forty. That is those big cargo things underneath. Uh, one of the things you'll notice, the base version doesn't actually have those cargo things underneath. Uh, but there is a concept art, which I will potentially show here, if I can remember. Which basically shows the that there is a version they had intended to have cargo, but they didn't basically have the cargo in it. And I decided to add the cargo because it adds good contrast to how it looks. But it also hides some of my little kind of uh, my little merge techniques. So it's got a reactor of 39, so we're in a B-class reactor there, merge into the back. It's got a crew of two, crew is quite low. Now you could obviously bump up the crew compartment. As you see there, there's a two by one that the reactor is sitting on. And that two by one basically is, is the only like proper crew hab. I think I have it just set as a generic because you can't really access it. It's got a jump range of 29 light years. It's got a shield of 1450. And then it's got two sets of weapons. It's got lasers that are hidden in the front landing gear that you can just kind of see. And then it's got the railgun turret on the top because in the, his version of the ship, it has a railgun turret. If you want to build this, it'll probably cost you around 35, uh, 350k to build. But yeah, let's, let's go check it out, shall we? So there's a couple of tricks I had to do with the merging, which I'll kind of showcase now. So one of the things you may notice when you're looking at this, if you move, in order to get it to carry what it needed to carry, the front landing gear has four merged into each side. So altogether, there's 10 of these landing gear. As I move around, you might see it shimmer slightly. Um, if we go on top here, one of the things that you'll also notice is I merged a hab into the, uh, into the cockpit, as we can see here. Now, the reason behind that is because initially I had the cockpit here, but it looked a bit weird because in the design, the kind of the, the way it looks is it kind of sticks out more a little bit. And it looked weird on its own, so I added that in. Now, because of that, 
it basically whoops it basically means that you can't really see in uh first person uh, which is a bit of a letdown but the thing is with these sort of kind of ships that are made more kind of aesthetically pleasing ships uh yeah it's kind of is what it is and on the top here we have the kind of the spine that initially that was going to be my spine getting to the bridge but when we get inside we'll kind of showcase why that didn't work instead i had hit another set of spine underneath here that you can get to the bridge with and then at the back we have just a little bit of a just a little bit of a wing here uh on soren's ship he has a very big wing on the back and sadly with starfield i couldn't get one big enough with the slant to go down so we kind of just went with your standard tail there's also god damn my character's weak there's also uh the engine here as you can see we've got uh, an engine merged in the back just because yeah like realistically his his ship is powered by the four kind of VTOL thrusters anyway in we go we've got the uh, landing gear mer or the uh the docker is merged up there it doesn't affect i think a bit of a bit of a bit of a short you know you're, you're touching your head off but it's not too bad in we go so i'll show you some of the kind of the the kind of the, the merge techniques so if we go up here on top which is originally how i had it designed so we have the the hab here as you can see this is the all-in-one living quarters i might change this to something else in future you can come back here and you can kind of see all of the stuff in here but yeah for the most part it is what it is i would just kind of ignore that section now if we go through here this door you'll notice we have our little kind of our piping system that uh we get to the bridge and we can kind of see it but at the same time we can't access it and the reason that is because you have that one by one hab sitting on top of the bridge so in order to actually get in what you want to do is you want to go down the bottom now it, it ends up working better for for me from my point of view for the simple reason that you don't need to worry about up there so you go through here now there is these kind of red things but they don't they don't do a bad job they kind of to me they look like bulkheads obviously when you look back you can see through them um, which is a bit weird but yeah so you come in here and then now you can climb up into the bridge and as you can see here with the bridge we have like our seats and stuff which function i just got stuck but for the most part like i said you can't really see the exterior now i will check really quickly to see if you get stuck when I sit on this seat. Um, I am on PC currently. Uh, this ship is all vanilla though, no mods. Um, just if if it is a case of you get stuck, you definitely don't want to sit in the seat. Is it, am I going to get stuck? No, okay, we're good. My character walks my back. Now, one of the things I will say is I actually quite like how this looks uh, interior-wise. I think it looks really cool. It was not intentional to have that kind of like area there but i think it looks really cool anyway we're gonna hop in and we're gonna basically fly her into space and see how she performs now obviously as you can see you can't see anything in the interior you have to look fly from third person so let's take it off see how she performs as always i have a perk that increases my power by five for the sake of this review we're not gonna be using five power as you can see when it's in the kind of the flight mode it looks quite cool when it's kind of leaving atmosphere with those engines on the side but yeah hopefully one day we get like actually functioning ones so yeah so we have we have quite a bit of power to play around with we have an extra an extra seven power that we can put into our grab drive so weapon wise we've got our lasers that are just kind of there to kind of give you a bit of defensive you know the, the real gun turret will be helpful but it's going to have problems taking down shields and then obviously we have that real gun turret uh boost speed is going to be 140 because we're using a b-class engine which isn't too bad our base speed sorry is 140 boost speed is probably going to cap out around 520 yeah 520 not too bad quick little agility test real quick so it's it's very agile as you can see, the engine or the, the landing gear is doing its job to kind of slow the vessel. I will say with this vessel, I don't really mind flying it in third person. I usually fight in third person when I play anyway. Now, some people may not like that, which is perfectly fine. I mean, there's going to be people here that do not like how heavily merged this is. But again, the idea was to try and make something as aesthetically similar as possible, not worrying about the interior. 
So yeah, so um, we're going to really quickly now head down to the planet and I will show you how to build it. So we have everything split up and we're going to break down the pieces. Uh, almost everything here can be found at the um, at your outpost, your ship outpost, with the exception of the Overseer 400 bridge and the four Hope Tech Hab spines and potentially these cargo. Actually, I'll really quickly check. Can these, do these cargo exist? Um, yeah, you're going to have to find these cargo again. Again, they can be found at, found at Hope Tech. So if we look at the, the habitat pieces, so we've got an Overseer 400 bridge from Hope Tech, 340 cargo to crew station. We've got one, two, three um, Hope Tech companion ways. We've got one, two, three, four uh, Hope Tech hab spines. We've got a Deimos all-in-one berth 2x1 that uh, we kind of I just went with because it looked the most aesthetically pleasing from the exterior. We've got the Shipbed 200 landing bay from Tayo, uh, and then we have the 100 DP Slim Docker. For the weaponry, we've got a Jishaku FE Rapid Fire Rapid or RRF, which I'm assuming is not a Rapid Fire, Rapid Railgun Turret from Shinigami B-Class, 1625 range, 5 fire rate, 18 hull damage, and 3 power. And then we've got two of these Torch P250 megawatt UV pulse lasers from LightSight. B class, 1625 range, 25 shield damage, and 4 power. For the landing gear, we've got uh, 8, not 10, sorry, 8 of these 220 CB landing gear from Deimos, one trust each. For the uh, the kind of the, the energy or the powered components, we've got, or not the power, but the kind of the modules that are needed to make the ship fly. We've got a single 500T Helium-3 tank from Ballistic Solutions Incorporated. We've got an RD-3000 Beta Grav Drive from Relodyne, B-Class 10 Power, 36 Jump Thrust, which gives us 29. A 104DS Mag Inertial Reactor from Dogstar, B-Class, 39 Power, 1125. We have a Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator from Vanguard, B-Class 12 Power, 1450 Shield. We've got three Dun 71 engines from Amadon, B class, three power, 26,580 engine thrust, 5250 maneuvering thrust. These allow us to get 99 mobility. We've got two Panoptes Polo 2030 cargo holes from Panoptes, 1,000 each. And then for the structural pieces, we've got two of these Hope Tech pipes A mid, two Horizon weapon mounts. We've got the Hope Tech nose B, the Demos tail A, single equipment plate from tayo and then two demos wing e's so we're going to get to work on putting the ship together so the first thing we want to do is we want to set it up like this so we put our hope tech companion way on top of the overseer bridge and then we just duplicate it down like so and then we need another piece to kind of force it up so we're going to just highlight this and then highlight that sometimes it'll go down and then we'll get it up so that's how it should look like that or right, we have to piece under that now next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these pieces here, our two Hope Tech spines, like so. And then our demos, our demos piece is going to go like that. And then underneath the demos, we're going to put our Hope Tech companion way. And then we're also going to put our landing bay. Now we're going to move this, and the first thing we need to merge is these engines. Now, the reason we're kind of merging these engines first is because it can be quite finicky getting them to merge into themselves. So what we want to do is, like before, we want to make a little kind of an area so we can merge them up and down. So if we highlight it and duplicate it, it'll jump up. Now we highlight the bottom one and we duplicate it again and it'll spawn inside of itself like that. And then you just basically do that again. As you can see, sometimes it's kind of tricky getting it to kind of merge into itself. Um, I went with three all together. So there's three inside that now. And then if I remove these, there we go. Now that that's kind of out of the way, we can get to work on the, the other kind of components. So next we're going to merge the, the uh, reactor. Again, this is a simple one. Just highlight it, it'll drop up or it'll go up. Just do it again, it'll drop down. We get rid of that. Next, we're going to merge the the fuel tank. Again, we're just going to highlight. It'll drop up. Highlight. It'll. Oh, whoa, oops. Highlight the bottom one, and down it goes like so. Then 
next we get the red bag. Again, we're going to highlight it. Sometimes it'll kick up. That's perfectly fine. You just you always want to highlight. The thing is with this kind of technique is if you're trying to drop it down, you always want to highlight the bottommost one of the little scaffold, and then and then this. Finally, we're going to merge this bulwark just down a bit, just so it kind of hides. There we go. Now we can put this demo solo one birth over. This is just acting as a kind of a cover. So like oh. It was too fast that time whoopsie just highlight it it'll drop down like so and then we want to add our little tail piece just to kind of finish off with this kind of the merge there we go oh no sometimes i'm too fast there we go and then that's that's most of the merging currently so next what we want to do is we're going to work on the uh the landing gear actually no before we do the landing gear we're going to do the weapons so the first weapon, it just simply sits here. We got an equipment plate. And we snap our railgun there. And then the second one, we're going to attach these here, like so. And then another one there. And then these just snap on the bottom. Just because they're kind of more hidden on the bottom. Now, obviously, if you're making this your kind of your daily driver and stuff, you could definitely add more weapons. You also have mounts on the tail, but I tried to hide the weapons purely because they don't fit with the... Like, aesthetically, there's no visible weapons on this ship, aside from the railgun. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to merge the landing gear. Because when we're working on the, the weight of the ship, we need to have the landing gear. So this is a simple situation. You just snap the landing gear down one below it, and then you're going to highlight them. And we're going to just duplicate it up like that. That's one set. We're going to duplicate the bottom again. That's two sets. And then we're going to duplicate one more time. Now we've got three sets of landing gear in there. Delete the rest. Get rid of these. Now we're going to get our Hope Tech Nose B, and we're going to slap that on the bottom like so. Now we're going to quickly move the companion weight, or the uh, the landing, the bay, so we can put in our docker. Our docker sits like there. And then you just flip this in. It'll be red. Just flip it, flip it back like so. We're going to get our two demo swing E's, and they're going to slap on each side there, facing backwards. Just going to delete all these. And then finally, there's two more. we got a little bit of thing left to do. So we're basically now... We're going to merge these pieces in to the uh, inside here to give it more kind of a texture. Because one of the things, if you look in the picture, uh, there's it's very it's very much piping that goes across here. So we've got our two pipes directly above it. And we've got our scaffold already ready. We're going to highlight the bottom one and it'll drop down. And as you can see now there, it's just kind of merged in. And then what we're going to do is we've got our two cargo holes they just snap our cargo they snap in there and then just to to finish this off so what you want to do is is you want to delete this top one briefly and you want to duplicate i'm just deleting these so i can show you so we're going to duplicate this down like so it'll go up and then duplicate it down like so that's perfectly fine and then we're going to basically do the other thing we might have to again crimson you've explained it backwards you want to move these uh pipes for now and then you want to duplicate it down like that now obviously if you're at hope tech you don't need to worry about this but i'm not at hope tech so i only have four to play with and once they're there you just put them back in their position like so and then you snap these back in and then we're just going to drop them down like so perfect whoops wait a minute uh, I missed one. Let me drop them down. There we go. Perfect. So that's that's pretty much it. That is Soren's vessel. I uh, really like how it turned out. I think I'm going to use this as my daily driver for a bit, just because I really like these kind of um, like ships that have been kind of repurposed for, as like one thing that has turned into another. And I think this is a good example, and it kind of showcases like the storyline. Uh, with like Soren's character, he's like a pirate that kind of works on the rubble. So it would make sense he was able to get his hands on a tug slash a kind of a cargo vessel that has been, you know, kind of repurposed and set out to pasture. 
yeah that's pretty much it um as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content uh if you're interested in joining the discord if you you know we have a link there in the bio it's we have over 100 members and it's a pretty cool place we talk about all things starfield we've got uh sections dedicated to various things like for uh screenshots if you find cool screenshots there's some really cool screens in there we also have the ship builder, which is where this kind of prompted from. There's always someone building something and you can always get inspiration or ask for help and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.